Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today I'm going to be talking about a conversation I had with one of my buddies who happens to work for uh, an online company uh, that uh, basically is an app, you can go to their website, it could be uh, your auto technician, whatever it is, right? I'm sure you guys get it, but uh, you can go and... Uh, go on their website their app and tell them what kind of problem you have they'll send somebody down to your house and uh, they'll offer you to do the work at your house which I don't know if that's a great idea but nonetheless this is what they do so they pay the auto technician X amount of dollars that goes and actually does the work they keep half of it or 30 percent of it I don't know what the exact cut is and then they get to keep all the profit from the uh, parts well, here's what he's finding out more and more from doing this is that when he gets a, like his second request or a customer service request, he goes and um, checks the work and see what the complaint is. He's finding out that the, a lot of times that the work actually hasn't been done by the original person that got paid to do the job. So he recently had a brake job on a vehicle uh, that where they had done all new rotors and pads and the customer called in a year later said hey my uh, brake pads are down to to uh, uh, zero they're metal on metal and this is the the shoes in the back the, the rear brakes which don't go out as much as the front ones normally right unless somebody happens to leave uh, the parking brake on or if they use that kind of assembly back there um, but so they, he went over there and uh, behold to him he found out that that particular uh, technician never did the job just got paid for it charged the customer and uh, really funny business uh, so if you guys are on, on online and you guys think it's convenient sometimes to have a me mechanic come to your house that you don't know right uh, and you don't know a lot about the vehicle yourself I would highly recommend going down to your neighborhood garage meeting the guy see if you like the person right and uh, sometimes ask for the old parts uh, if you if it is gonna if you do want to go that route uh, that may cover you a little bit better um, wash them do the work as they're doing it periodically just sneak your head out just don't give them the key and walk away and, and think it's gonna be done because Sometimes it's not done, right? So, um, uh, as un as unfair as it could be, you really got to protect yourself, and so you got to kind of do your do your due diligence. If you went and paid somebody a thousand dollars to do your brakes all the way around, sneak your head out for one second, go check out what they're doing, um, ask for the old parts again. Uh, so let me know what you guys think, what kind of experiences you guys have had with some of these online companies. Uh, I'm really not a big fan of their business model. I personally would never use their service. And this is coming from uh, somebody that that's worked around cars, that knows what to look for. I still wouldn't use their service because there's a whole different element to having a brick and mortar garage in your neighborhood that you go like the guy, trust the person, and uh, they'll do you little favors along the line where when you need a it's a windshield washer fluid you can walk in there they won't charge you put it in for you and, and you, off you go right so they make it really convenient uh, but hit the subscribe button I'll keep these videos coming and uh, have a great day